and uh, today I'm gonna tear down UD7007 Universal Disc Player by Marantz, which was released in 2013. You can find lots of good reviews about this player, all specifications will be attached to this video. So let's see what's inside of this well-engineered device. First of all, I need to remove a little plastic disc tray facing, otherwise later I won't be able to remove a disc drive. Now I can start undoing screws, which are securing a top cover, it's two on each side and five more at the rear. When the screws are out, top cover can be removed. Next I will remove a power supply AC, unplug AC input cable, then DC output ribbon cable. Then undo five screws securing the PCB and power supply AC can be extracted. I will also remove the IEC socket from the rear panel. Next part is a bit more interesting than the PSU. It's an analog AC. I will start with removing seven screws from the rear panel. Then unplug the power supply cable and data ribbon cable. I will remove two remaining screws uh, securing the PCB and analog AC is free. Here you can see PCM1795 two-channel digital to analog converter made by Texas Instruments, which supports 32-bit resolution and up to 192 kHz sample rate. Next I will remove tiny control AC, which is held with three screws from the rear panel. I have to be careful and not to pull the AC uh, too far as ribbon cable is quite short and it's easy to damage it. Most components are extracted, I can take off the rear panel. Another six screws and panel can be removed. This bracket here holds the analog AC in place. Uh, it also works as a shield uh, to prevent interference between analog and digital parts. Here I also have to be careful as the ribbon cable is quite short. Now I can unplug rest of the cables. It's a control AC cable, data cable which goes to the laser head, next cable controls disc rotation and head position. Next, uh, disc eject mechanism, USB extension, power supply, and 
and front panel. After all the cables are unplugged, uh, last four screws uh, securing main AC can be removed and board can be extracted. Time to remove the disk drive. Uh, five screws securing the bracket are unfastened and disk drive is free. I will take it apart as soon as I'm done with the front panel. Just because I'm very curious, I will remove all four feet and unscrew another eight screws to find that bottom of the chassis consists of three layers of metal, which are quite heavy by the way. Front panel is the last part still attached to the chassis. I need to undo three screws at the top of the panel and unclip nine clips uh, to detach the panel. And again, I have to be careful as USB extension and ribbon data cable are still connected. USB extension is held in place with two screws and easily can be removed. Another six screws to separate PCB from the front panel. Finally, I can take apart the disk drive. Four screws to remove the aluminium shield. On the inside of the shield there is uh, polyethylene foam uh, which is added to insulate drive from unwanted vibrations. Almost all the empty space inside the drive is stuffed with the same foam. Drive itself is also separated from the main chassis. It sits on four tiny rubber suspension feet. Another four screws and one more layer is detached. You can see rubber dampers covering large areas of the drive, uh, probably done for the same reason, to keep all the unwanted vibrations uh, outside the drive and make it as quiet as possible. Last 
four screws and four plastic clips uh, before removing the final layer. But before undoing the clips, I need to unstick a rubber dampers a little bit, so top cover is not attached to anything. So here we are, and uh, that's how the disk drive looks inside. I thought that it might be interesting to know chassis weight versus component weight. So here we go. Uh, I'm gonna use my kitchen scales uh, to weight uh, separate chassis parts. Data sheet states that uh, weight of complete unit is uh, 6,500 grams. Weight of uh, chassis components uh, is 6,100 grams, which means that weight of electronic components is around 400 grams. So these are all the screws and fixings and all the electronic components. Now I'm gonna assemble everything except uh, this drive cover so I can demonstrate how Maran's UD7007 operates. So that's all, I uh, really hope that you've enjoyed watching this video, your likes and subscriptions are much appreciated, see you next time, goodbye.